And let's make sure we're up. As the game goes dim. That's perfect. And looks pretty good to me. Back into it. One more song. Yes, I know. I need another gift. I need another Silent Realm. <laughs> this song falls dead center on my preference charts. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't like it that much. Is the volume of the game good, or is it a little bit too loud? I can't quite tell. Hi, Fastidious. How are you? Works for me. I know that feeling. <laughs> so did I. School giving you hell? Ah, gotcha. To Elden we go. I was about to say finals should be pretty soon, shouldn't aren't uh I thought that finals would be pretty soon. I finally killed one! I've been trying to kill those things for I don't know how long. Um Yeah, finals are not... I don't expect those to be fun in the slightest. But it'll be nice when they're over, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, you say that's pretty easy, but I swear I've seen some people in school that probably wouldn't pass that. They're not dead, they just seem like they're dead.
Let's see, Volcano Ascent. I found it! I love knowing where these are immediately. <sighs> are you ready, Fastidious? It's the worst Silent Realm. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I... This is my least favorite instrument in all of Zelda. The harp makes me... Like, uh, makes me so ready to play uh, spirit tracks and have the flute because the flute is one of the best instruments in all of, in all of Zelda, in my opinion. I love the pan flute. <laughs> and the songs that you get from it, oh, they're so good. This right here. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, this this silent realm is pretty much going to be the uh, what do you call it? It's the, it's going to be the test run for my week next week because it's going to be hell. Okay. Do I go that way or do I become psychotic? I think psychopathy sh suits me. Not shoots me. Well, yeah, you never know. Come at me, boy. There's two. Grab that one. I'll save that one for later. <laughs> Gotta go up. I saw that dust relic and I want it. Three. Okay, now here's the rough one. Oh god! I forgot about waking water. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way! Ah! <laughs> well, everything about that sucked.
Oh god, I'm in danger. Okay, do not grab this right now, because I may need that here in a few moments. Depending on if I hit the waking water on my way down on the next trip. Because if I hit that waking water and don't have a don't have a uh, tier nearby, that one that guardian that sits at the bottom there will destroy me without hesitation. Dusk relic. Okay, tear, dodge the waking water. Dodge and dodge and we're good. All right, probably the most terrifying part of this is over. Thank God. This one. Okay, I don't like this part. Oh, crap. Where's the nearest tier? That's a bad tier. There. Oh, God. I'm alive. <laughs> that was a race. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. My teeth don't have skin. Okay, where are the next ones? Being next to this guardian is terrifying. I've got six more. One, two, three. Four. Wait, where's five and six? I have no idea. <laughs> I've wondered that myself, and then I stopped wondering because I was just like, I, I don't want to waste the brain power on it. Because in my opinion, 90% of all sayings are nonsensical. I've got three more. All right, there they are up there. Whew, this is going to be a long trek. This is a long trek that I need to do quickly. Oh god, to say I'm in trouble is an, under is an understatement right now. Oh god, I'm gonna fail this silent realm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> it's true. <sighs> okay. There is a good chance that I'm going to lose this right here. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go for it. There's one somewhere right up in there. Here we go. Alright. Yep, good idea. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I'm alive. I knew there was one close. Fuck. Well, not going after that one. Oh, God. Get close to me. I'm going to blaze past you. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> How am I down to one tier? And the answer is because I'm insane. This attempt should have been over three tiers ago. Oh my god, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I am home free. <laughs> I just first tried that. On sheer stupid luck. And some, some skill. There was some minor skill in there. Have a good next week. Oh, yeah, apparently. Huh. I have a strange feeling, though, that next week it's going to be a, uh, not so much sheer luck as sheer stupidity. Okay, I'm protected from flames now. Alright, I'm gonna go throw up from stress. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Yeah, brain needs to go off. Uh, yeah, my brain will will cease functioning now for the rest of the game. For the rest of tonight. get to the um oh crap i've got the curse medallion in my inventory i can't open my uh i can't open <laughs> shit ah. i can't open my bag so i can't use my bottles i'm gonna need bottles shiza
I can, but I don't have a I don't have the quickest way to get back here yet. If I'm thinking correctly, on the other side of this tunnel is a um is a bird statue that I'll be able to go back to the sky with. Not really. Okay, well, there's a minor bird statue. Yay, jelly. Okay, back here, I think, is a bird statue. I am incorrect. There is something back here. Really cannot reach. No, there are. There are no real. I, there are no items in Breath of the Wild or Tears, or Tears of the Kingdom. There are only weapons. There are really only weapons and shields. Ah, crap. Oh, yeah, I would. I'm jumping. I'm dying. <laughs> Can I grab onto that? I wonder. Nope! But I can go around this and get that goddess cube. The most interesting part, in my opinion, about Breath of the Wild is the world itself. Though, there's not a whole lot of... There's not a lot of explicit world building in it. There's, like, a lot of... Implied. But not a lot of actual story. Here's of the Kingdom does a little bit better than that. In, in that aspect of it. I have no idea where I'm going. But it's just, um... I don't know. Yeah, it's... I don't enjoy it that much. I'll put it this way. I I keep I always say it is in my opinion a good game. It is a bad Zelda game. Oh yeah.
I will say it is a little bit better than that because it's not it's not empty and the world itself is thought out which I don't think I've ever been able to say about anything Ubisoft has produced take this Uh, yeah, sure, we'll get an extra heart. Bye. Ah. But I will say, Tears of the Kingdom does a better job, in my opinion. At least that, like, story-wise, like, there is an actual story. To an extent. But, in, in my opinion, as far as that world and that era of Zelda goes, the best game out of them is uh, Age of Calamity. And that's saying something when the best when the when the best Zelda game out of out of a group of them is uh the hack and slash. Yep, that's that is me too. I like a clear It doesn't have to be linear, but I do like a more linear story. I th I think that uh like the older Zelda games do it perfectly where you can face things in different orders. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I love Metroid Fusion. It is now my second favorite uh, 2D Metroid game. Because I really enjoyed Dread. Metroid Dread was really good. Oh, I went to the wrong place. Man, now I need to replay Metroid Fusion. <laughs> Fastidious, stop giving me games to play. Every time you mention a game, I want to play it. I could, I could, like, take an afternoon and, like, play through Metroid Fusion. That'd be fun. I could probably stream it, too. Wouldn't be the first time I streamed it. Just on a, just on a different device. Yeah. 
then whose fault is it? Who is at fault here? I need somebody to blame. Either you have okayish tasting games or I have trash tasting games. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure it's the first one. We're drinking this. I'm hoping that I need two bottles. I can finally douse for goddess cubes. That's nice. One down. I like to think so. I like to think that my tasting games is not absolute garbage. Zelda games become a lot quicker when you know your way around all the puzzles. Granted, Zelda games never have that hard of puzzles, but still. Hey, guess what? We gotta deal with Scrapper and the water dragon. Yay. One cauldron coming up! hell do I get up there? Oh, like this. Oh, wait. I can actually climb up this. Hang on. Let me go activate this thing and make sure that it's actually on the map first. Before I quick, before I quickly exit this area and have to come back again. Son of a bitch! You suck. He disappeared. They do look really cool. I I I also like fighting them. They're, they're fun to fight. The dark Lizalfos look even cooler. slammed my controller into the desk <laughs> trying to use an amiibo
Yeah, you want backtracking. Just wait till I finish this dungeon. Just wait till I finish the fire sanctuary. Then we have backtracking galore. Holy crap. Like, to the point that it will almost piss you off. Oh, yeah. Uh, the waterfall. That is just for a single chapter. And it makes me want to hurt myself. Oh yeah, I suppose creepy steeple. Yeah, you do have to walk back and forth to there, so quite a few times. But you're rewarded with the dupless boss fight. So I would consider it worth it. You know, the best character in Thousand Year Door. <laughs> no one does. It's not technically the, the... It's not honestly the worst fight, in my opinion. But it's like an entirely mediocre fight. And it comes off the back of... Uh, doesn't it come off the back of Glitzville? No. Yes. Yeah, it comes off the back of Glitzville, doesn't it? So it's like... Amazing chapter... Oh, amazing boss. Like, fantastic boss. I love Macho Greba. Um, yeah. Like, fantastic boss. This is the second week in a row we've talked about Thousand Year Door. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, you get Yoshi. Um, probably the best chapter in the game, in my opinion. I mean... It's a fantastic chapter. I think I have more fun overall, like storming the x Not Fortress, but the chapter, that is the best chapter. Glitzville is the best chapter. And they got away with naming a character Rock Hawk. How they did that, I will forever be curious. Oh yeah, uh, Cortez. He's a fun boss fight. He can be really annoying if you get, if you aren't careful. Oh, I hit the wrong button. And Bobbery's amazing, too. But yeah, I agree with you. The cavern is just not that interesting. Bobbery is amazing. Why are we here? I know why we're here, but still. Oh yeah, no, actually, uh, I forgot that he is that he actually has played through Thousand Year Door now. Uh, he informed me of that uh, this week. Um, 
I think he, he informed me of that before, but I totally forgot. So, yeah, Yoshi can watch this. <sighs> Scrapper, this is one reason why everybody hates you. You're an escort mission. Ultra Sun and Moon. I have never played the I've never played the Ultra versions of those games. I've only ever played Moon. Is that a goddess plume just laying around? That's just a goddess plume chilling. I like it. I couldn't tell you when the last time I completed the Pokedex was. Most of the time, especially for games like that, I do not have a completionist bone in my body. survive completing the wait why would what why will your wallet not survive completing the pokedex I hit that. Oh my god. Oh, hi. Hmm. I want to hit you so badly.
This robot will be the death of me. <laughs> I love having a fully upgraded bow for this. Counted correctly there. Nope, I fell off. But I somehow managed to also kill him. That works. Just a little further. the uh oh no wait that didn't show today i was gonna say it's the ricky profile picture that i have for <laughs> for the switch see it's it's this profile picture <laughs> I love Ricky. Nope. Different direction. Scrapper, you suck. This is why nobody likes you. <laughs> Die. Do I have the necessary stuff to... And yeah, we're going to go back to this guy. Do I have the necessary stuff to upgrade... Wait, what do I need to upgrade? What can I upgrade? Beetle is fully upgraded to tough beetle. Scattershot... Sacred bows upgraded. I could upgrade my shield, but I don't think I have enough money for that right now. Not money. I don't think I have the items for that. I think any blue bird feathers. I think I need like one more blue bird feather or something like that. So 
So maybe we'll hold off. Here we go, Fire Sanctuary. Technically the final dungeon. Because the Sky Keep doesn't really count as a dungeon, in my opinion. It's just kind of a puzzle. I don't mind this dungeon. I mean, it's honestly the only problem that I have with it is it's a little bit of a slow burn. No pun intended, but fun still achieved. Ah. Without the fog effect. I would like it to have a better item. You know what's funny? Is, uh... I hate City in the Sky. It is my least favorite dungeon in all... Mm. Crap, I can't say that anymore. Ever since Breath of the Wild came out, I've never, I haven't been able to say that City in the Sky is my least favorite. It is high up on my list of least favorite, City in the Sky is. Its boss is awesome, I'll give you that. Argorok is amazing. Argorok, yeah. Jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. I think Arbiter Grounds is really underrated because I I don't I don't hear a lot about people really enjoying Arbiter Grounds. It's always like one of the middling ones in Twilight Princess. But I really like Arbiter Grounds. I think it's got fantastic atmosphere. And just the right amount of creepy as well. And uh, yeah, Snow Peak. Maybe one of the most unique ways of dealing with a dungeon in Zelda history. <laughs> Oh, you mean, you mean the first half of the game where I don't consider the game to have started? I love Twilight Princess, but damn, I honestly don't think that this, that the game starts until after. <laughs> I don't think the game starts till you have the master sword. <laughs> No, I stand corrected. The game starts about the about when you hit Midna's Midna's laments, Midna's desperate hour. <laughs> That's where the game starts. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we 
We've got arrows. Uh, chapter four. Is that the one with, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember her name. Is that the one in More Ardain with, uh, with the other, the Monopon Mafia? Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, what is the other? It's, it's the, the, uh, first version of Poppy, essentially. Ow! What was her name? <laughs> yes, that's it. No, not not Poppy Cutie. Which happens to be my least favorite version of Poppy. That's like the biggest downside to that chapter. It's just, that's my least favorite version of Poppy. She's not bad. She's just not my favorite. <laughs> I forgot about... I forgot about Giga Rosa. <laughs> God, that's a that's a thing. I didn't mind it. But I will say this, the Giga Rosa fight kicked my ass several times the first time I tried that. Yeah. I don't even remember who I went into that with. Yeah. Now it's flowing. It's true. That is kind of funny. <laughs> it's true. We're escaping this place.
I don't think that, that is the suggested way of dealing with these things, but <laughs> it is only a suggestion. Shut up. <laughs> that's uh that's just a that's oh my gosh <laughs> we are still playing xenoblade right <laughs> i'm gonna let you hang there for a while <laughs> Hi, metal. Do you just get summoned by by the by the by talking about Xenoblade? <laughs> I would halfway believe that you do. How are you doing, metal? Gosh, that's funny. Just like, Xenoblade, I'm there! Stab it. Stab another. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Xenoblade 2 is my least favorite Xenoblade game, so... <laughs> the fact that I can talk about it this much, honestly, is... a testament to Xenoblade in general. <laughs> <laughs> Metal, I believe that. That's the problem. <laughs> or the good thing. I don't know. I just noticed what you said, Fastidious. It may have Stockholm to you. <laughs> it's just like, I hate it, but I love it. It held you hostage for so long that you, <laughs> that you now identify with it. God, I am... <laughs> no. 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 That's terrible. I am working on 100%ing... Zimblet one, and that is a that is a ordeal. And I have done all the quests 
and uh, I've done all the quests and what else did I do? I did, I think, most everything in uh, Xenoblade 3. Look, no more lava. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Give me some more gloves. Cool. <laughs> this is my least favorite item in the game. <laughs> Yeah, I like, uh, yeah, three definitely did not click for me either until Chain Attacks came into play. And I never, uh, what do you call it? Like, I never... got into, like, the whole switching people, switching characters mid-battle. I don't think I switched characters mid-battle once. Once I once I finally understood chain attacks in that game, holy crap! You can destroy people in that. You can literally destroy everybody. It's fantastic. Until you get a really bad chain attack. Yeah. AI is not to be trusted on Noah. <laughs> I don't think I ever had Noah on AI, so I have no idea what happens when Noah is on AI. <laughs> what happens out of curiosity? <laughs> How bad is it? <laughs>
<laughs> yep. I need to send that back and go over here first. Okay, apparently I understood the chain attacks really quickly or something. You sack of crap. Because I think there was probably... I think there were... Yes. It is fun. But I haven't played that game in... No. When did Xenoblade 2 come out? That means I probably haven't played Xenoblade 2 since 2018. Because I played it, and then I played through New Game Plus, and then I never wanted to touch it in my- never have wanted to touch it again. Why are you not sure how you feel about Definitive Edition? be nightmare inducing face textures that you somehow feel weirdly nostalgic for
No, they are, but it was on the Wii. That'll do it. Bomb it to hell. I'm going to catch this bug. How the hell did you not see me there? Oh, I'm backwards. You die! Finally. Oh, damn. I didn't get anything from that. I'm not sure I remember the old tutorials. if there was anything important in that chest I missed. And how easy is it to get back to it? Far easier just to go from the 
front. Far, far easier just to go from the entrance. So I will do that later. Murder. Murder. I like murdering. It's a good pastime, that's for sure. Oh, not that way. Up the stairs. I love that you can do a finishing blow on a bat. You're a pain in the butt, aren't you? Gotcha. What do you got for me? Good. Open the chest. Ooh, heart piece. Okay, where the hell am I going now? Obviously here. And underground. Uh, is this one with the lava coming at me? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to... I gotta unseal the lava. And then I gotta outrun it. Run? Out of here. It feels like my sinuses are like clogged or something right here. It feels like there's so much pressure behind my behind the left side of my face. So much fun.
It's like giving me a headache. Oh god. Behold. A uh a dungeon with an with access to the sky. That is a disturbing thought by the way, Metal. That is like an extremely disturbing thought. I'm taking that. <laughs> no. Jump into the sleeping statue. Nice. It is a fantastic video and that is a fantastic set of games. If I hadn't watched and if I had not watched like things for all of them and watched them played, I would love to play that game, but I don't think there's a lot of reason for me to play it myself because it's not really that much gameplay. I guess you could go after like the bosses because the bosses seem difficult. A lot of the bosses do. I'm not losing the tail. But I don't know how much that game is. And I need to stop spending money. <laughs> because I keep spending money. <laughs> I bought two games from Steam Sale and then Corn wanted me to get uh, Lethal Company. Which I got. I got Rogue Legacy 2 and uh, Hades from the Steam Sale. on and it's uh you have uh what do you call it it's crowd control too so i can have a lot of fun with that
It hurts your wrists to play. I haven't played it yet, so I have no idea what the controls are, so that'll be interesting. Oh, crap. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. There's a rail gun? Okay, I need to play this game. I still haven't I still have not played it yet. Tell me, does anybody want to go see their favorite long-tongued demon lord? Where's Twink when you need him? <laughs> thought the same thing. <laughs> also, somehow the wine was perfect for that. Okay, let's see. like it's been forever since I've heard a sound alert. No, I stand corrected. Last week we had sound alerts. Uh, that's right. No kidding. Hello, sir. Calls Impa a twig. Hmm. 
I love Link's face right here. It's just, oh no. Like I have so many problems with this. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's strike a deal. Why not? Just fight me. Ooh, those arms. Okay with that. I'ma hurt ya. your swords why did I slash that direction are you mad yet well wasn't trying to do that you didn't even have your hand up there <laughs> I didn't know you'd do that. Hmm. Ooh, look, dual swords. Such a badass. You just made this infinitely easier, you idiots. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. Not really, but... Ow! But at the same time, I'm going to, I'm going to hit you with it. You son of a bitch. 
Oh, ow. Would have loved it if that had hit. not even trying. die but get even more get even more angry hmm yes they are Get the Master Sword. <laughs> Here we go. We now have the Master Sword, though not at its full power. Also, we're fully worthy of the Triforce now, but that's just a little add-on. I mean, uh, call up fee. I want. I know there's one in there. Nothing around. Let's go up to the sky and get the, uh. Get these chests from the goddess cubes.
And then we'll go fight the imprisoned. And we get to see, we get to see Groose's catapult. I failed placement on both of those. Damn. it. What is it, though? Ooh, piece of heart. Ow! Dead center on top. No. Uh, well, what is his name? Levius or whatever his name is. Uh, he doesn't show up till after, till we're looking for the Triforce. When we need the song of the hero, that's what that is, uh, when we have to meet him. That's when we got to bring a big pot of soup down there. Do I need to go to Skyloft? Uh, let's check if I can upgrade any of my stuff, specifically the shield. here I need bird feather not blue bird feather okay what about bomb bag uh yeah I can do that yeah let's upgrade yeah go for it I like having a few extra bombs That'll be useful. <laughs> I, th 
think I'm going to buy a quiver as well and get rid of my seed pouch. Why don't you just send it over to the item check? Yes, that is a lot of money for a quiver. <laughs> but let's see about upgrading this as well. No. Upgrade. What do I need to upgrade this? Dusk Relic, Amber Relic, Monster Horn. Doesn't share anything with that. Uh, and I've got plenty of both the Dusk Relic and the Monster Horn required. So, yeah, we'll upgrade it. Why not? Go for it. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. I gotta go get bird feathers. Okay, out we go. I don't have money, so Beetle's gonna get mad, but I'm gonna go talk to Beetle real quick. See if he's got anything fun. Have you ever seen an angry Beetle? If not, you have not lived. Okay, so all I have is the bug and the life. No, I don't have that kind of cash. And that's a thousand. I really don't have that kind of cash. Send me away. Goodbye. Beetle is a bit of a bastard. All right, now down we go. We want to go behind the temple. Because I need bird feathers. I'm not going to get many bird feathers with y'all assholes around. Alright, so they have become true pushovers. Aren't there some birds in this area? Or do I have to go to the next one? I need birds! Oh, birds! Birds, there they are. Hey. 
I keep holding the wrong, uh, the wrong thing. I'm moving the camera, not the, uh... Wait a second. Oh. Well, that was easy. And grab. I wonder... There's one right there. Oh my god, there's one right there. But I can't remember how to get up to it. Do I jump from the tree? One that direction. And yes, I am starting to do a little bit of collecting right now. This direction. Oh, uh, that seems like it's taking me to sealed grounds. Let's collect some birds first. One. I think I'm going to collect about five or six for the heck of it. Maybe try for a couple bluebirds too. Got both. Cool. That's two. Come on back, birdies. I got another two. I got another bluebird and regular bird. Nice. Uh, a little too fast. I was too aggressive. I think that'll be enough. Okay. Back to the sealed temple. Wherever this thing is guiding me. I haven't been that way yet. Back this way, I guess.
Hmm. Somewhere back there. All right. It's time to open the gate of time. Well, almost. beast. This man is insane. This man lost his mind at some point. Into the pit we go. No kidding. That man was born to design and build. Hey, look. The tadpole grew some arms. You fun. Right in the mouth. <laughs> I like the challenge. This fight the first fight and this fight aren't terribly hard. The last one is hell if you do it if you're doing it like legitimately.
This one, on the other hand, not too bad. Oh boy! Ow. Shit. One foot down. Start your limping. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, I know, Groose. Dodge that. Take that out. Take that out. Okay, apparently they threw me through the arm. There's two. Oh yeah, I love, I, I love and hate. It looks creepy and silly at the same time. It looks unnatural. Oh God! Bruce, I'm gonna need a hand here, buddy. I'm here now. Holy crap. <laughs> Where am I? It threw me off again. <laughs> Take that. No, it couldn't have. Yes, it could have. I could have died. Does anybody else get flashbacks to Phantom Hourglass whenever you would get more, whenever you defeat a boss and you get more sand in your, in the Phantom Hourglass itself? How the bosses would explode into sand and then it would all collect in your hourglass? That's what that reminds me of right there.
and we have defeated the imprisoned for a second time. Up we go. That definitely d gave me some damage, that's for sure. Let's open the gate. play Tetris. I love how just out of nothingness, two gears come to turn this thing. Creepy smile, but that's the moment where you really love Groose. I know, it was the hair the whole time. But. It's always the hair. <laughs> it cannot be denied.
Run as fast as you can. Also, if you had to actually traverse that tunnel by the way it actually looks, that would be one of the most terrifying things possible because you would be crushed. Hey! I've not heard of that. That sounds terrifying. No. Well, interesting, but no. like anything you have said that sounds terrible Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure. I must have something on my finger because my eye is now on fire! I have no idea what the... <sighs> that is a pain that I do not like. Are you Steve-O? Why? I hope you don't mean on purpose. Well, obvious is relative. <laughs>
<laughs> I love the stare that Link gives right here. That dude has no idea. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I can't tell if he's in deep thought or if there's not a thought behind his eyes. This man looks like a reptile for some reason. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, definitely does. Really? Interesting. They look like fish. <laughs> they look like fish. I have never seen it that way. <laughs> that is very, I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to never see this game the same or not. Uh, I'm going to have to take a closer look now. Like the what people? Oh. She went, nope.
this game would actually do pretty decent with the voice acting, in my opinion. Back to the present. Back to the sky. <laughs> he forgot Groose exists. <laughs> He's like, I don't have time to worry about that. Help me. Uh. Yeah, that boy's definitely going through some stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me shoot some pumpkins. Sure. I missed the glowing one. I missed the sparkly pumpkin.
Oh, I don't know where I was aiming on that one. <laughs> Almost missed that one. Damn it, my finger slipped off the trigger. <laughs> Keep chucking. Where was that going? What the hell, man? <sighs> 500 or 400, he said. Yeah, let's do four. Let's get 400. <laughs> I want to beat a thousand. far enough. Three fifty. There's the four hundred mark. And a good miss. Well, I'm really going for that 400. <laughs> Elden Ore. 600 points. Yep, let's go. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got sidetracked on a minigame. I believe I hit that one. Damn it. What is Zelda if not getting sidetracked the adventure? Yeah, kinda. Okay, a dusk relic is not worth 20 rupees. 
Actually, is it? I can. I forgot that I can sell collectibles. <laughs> Wow, I missed the first one. Holy shit. then damn it Not getting 600 this round. Hmm. You're right, it probably would. gonna find out if I can remember how to use motion controls. <laughs> oh boy. Let's get into the swing of it. I think I definitely have a better chance with motion control, that's for sure. Oh, what? Ah, oh, right. I forget. It's based on arrows. Uh, I'm just going to stick at 390, actually. I'll get 50 rupees back instead of a random... Uh, Item. <sighs> if I don't pass 400. <laughs> I could not be a surgeon. Heck yeah.
Whoa, boy! Everything's falling apart. My god. That was so good until motion went haywire. What do you got? That's real luck. Let's go again. drifting. Good God. Yeah, I know. <sighs> it's every time the screen goes to... It's every time I have to move the screen itself. It messes up. Ancient flower. Interesting. Uh, I'll deal with you again later. I've got to turn off motion controls. Oh, boy. the lanky one. That's right, I got stuff to upgrade. I don't have money. <laughs> All right. One or two more rounds, and then we'll call it a night. <laughs> I'm gonna try again without motion controls. off again. <laughs> Uno mas.
Let's try it one more time with motion controls. Once more with feeling. Fifty. Okay, we've crossed the four hundred mark. God damn it. Holy crap, how'd I hit that one? Come on. Hell yeah! Give me one more! Over 700! I'll just get on the server and build a path. I'll it'll take me 15 minutes later to go to bed. Then I blink and it's suddenly 3 a.m. The path is done and there's a bridge and another echo. What the fuck, metal? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what I've been trying to get. Turn off motion controls for God's sakes. Metal, is that from experience? Is that a lived experience? Okay, I am I shouldn't have asked that question because I already know it is a lived experience. I have seen the times you have gotten on and gotten off of, my, of stuff like Minecraft. So it's like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said that. I said I didn't need to ask because I know that that is a lived experience. I already know. That's a lot. That is a lot. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a good idea. That 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 channel can get very annoying.
Uh, did I did I just save or no? Yeah, I did just save. I have the memory of a goldfish. A goldfish with a goldfish with no attention span. Oh, brother. Anyway, I think we're going to stop there tonight. So, we've got the we've got the search for the triforce, so that means we've got to do the whole Song of the Hero stuff and the Skyloft Silent Realm and then the Triforce Stronghold. Which I should be able to do probably all of that next week. There's a pretty decent chance. I'm gonna say. And then really it's just getting all the uh and then it's just getting all my collectibles and stuff and uh going for endgame stuff. Because once I have the Triforce, we're in endgame. So I should be able to uh, finish it in probably two weeks. Three, depending on how long it takes to do all the 100%ing stuff, all the uh, gathering stuff. Uh three it'll be three <laughs> just, just remembered what part of the 100 percenting is i gotta go get the hyaline shield i gotta go do boss rush <laughs> but that'll be fun all the way up till we get to the tentacle monster anyway We will finish up the night right here. So thank you for being here. And I hope you have a good rest of whatever it is for you. Day, night, whatever it is. And tomorrow night we've got Fire Emblem 4. It is, yes, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. We have Fire Emblem 4. So hopefully I will see you guys there. But until then, bye.